Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop on and do a little video, um, a very short video today um, on scrap busting and give you another idea of how to use up scraps, um, scrap pieces of paper and things that might be just plain. Um, I have a bunch, these are just plain index cards that are unlined um, and I'm using a lot of them in um, my kind of individual projects to create little mini um, collages. And so um, whenever I have a, a collage that takes up the whole card, it, it's great. But whenever I have say a square collage, I kind of have to trim off pieces or, you know, if I'm doing something smaller, I have to trim pieces. So I have a bunch of these little, just too small to collage on uh, type pieces. And then I have um, little scraps of, you know, things I've cut off, um, cardstock and, and uh, different kinds of papers that, that are just left. And I've got them just in a stack and I really need to do something with them. And I know I can um, do a, a ton of things with them, but I had the idea to start using um, some of my Distress inks a little bit more because I have them sitting up there and I've noticed that several of them I only use to age, um, you know, the, the edges of things and, and things like that. So I have these pretty colors, like um, for example, I have this evergreen bow and this shaded lilac and this is a um a magnet if if you didn't know my um my setup is that i have them on a magnet board hanging on my wall so i can easily reach for them but i have the sponge sugar and i really wanted to use these more because i, I bought these colors because i love them and i have multiple other ones like forest moss and dried marigold and stormy sky and things that are not necessarily aging they're more colored so um I think what I'm going to do is I am going to use a small stencil and um, those of you that know me um, or have followed me at all know that I actually really love like handwriting and, um, and script. That's one of my favorite things to use in my collaging and, and my other projects. And so um, I am going to just distress ink through these and uh, do it on to the surface of um, the paper or the cards. So I thought I would show you how I do that and what the result is because I think it looks really, really beautiful. And then I can use these, tear these up, make tags or um, like I said, do collaging. So I'm gonna use this sponge sugar to kind of demonstrate what I do. And again, I'm just gonna um, kind of go all over and you can even mix the colors if you wanted to. This has some Delusions ink on it. This is really a white stencil, um, but I use it in my journal sometimes with Dilutions ink. And if you know anything about Dilutions ink, it's water soluble. So it's, um, it's gonna be activated by water or anything else wet that goes on top of it, paint. And so it is gonna pick up a little bit of this, um, this bluish purplish color. Um, but if, you know, if I don't want that, I can always just wash off my stencil, which I have a tendency to do sometimes, but not enough. Um, and then, you know, then I'm gonna have the pure color. But I actually really like what happens when I mix these colors. Um, now, if you were using a color that was maybe opposite on the color wheel, um, you know, that might not result in a pretty color. So you'd wanna think about what the colors you're using are, but, um, and that, that reminds me, I was gonna ask you guys that are actually subscribing and following and, and wanting to follow along, uh, would it be helpful if I did kind of a um, intro to color theory? Um, I know that a lot of people seem to struggle with that and I teach that to my high school kids. So I thought, you know, if I can teach high school kids color theory, I can teach anybody color theory. So if that's interesting to you, if you would like to learn a little bit more about it, um, then, you know, let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to put something together, um, maybe even a, a course. Um, okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. And I think, it's a really pretty little um, texture. It kind of reminds me of the jelly printing um, that I do with that stencil, 
but it's a little bit softer. And I can tear these papers up and use them as collage fodder. I can put them, I can use them as pockets in journals. Um, and so, you know, I'll do an example here where I mix, um, and of course, I've still got this little purple here, but I'll mix this spun sugar and I'll mix this um, shaded lilac on the card, the index card here, and show you what that ends up looking like. And like I said, today's um, video is gonna be a little bit short because I just wanted to kind of give you this idea if you hadn't thought about using your scraps this way. Um, this is a really good way to kind of make something pretty out of a piece of scrap paper that you might not have used otherwise. Okay. And then look at that. Look how pretty. Um, I think it's really subtle, but you know, you could always use Dilutions ink um, if you wanted to. Um, I'm looking into getting some, maybe some bingo daubers and filling them with ink and seeing what I can do with that. Um, I think I will do a book page. So I have a book page here that, um, you know, I've cut something off of um, some sort of ephemera and I might add evergreen bow in the mix here just to see what that looks like. Let's do the shaded lilac and the evergreen bow. I do this on the other corner here so that I am not mixing my colors on my dauber. I might really get in there and really, you know, if I want to make it more intense, I can always just go in a little bit heavier with the color. Okay. Ooh, very cool. Now that moved on me, so of course it's a little bit janky there at the bottom, but you can see this is, um, this is a cool little thing that I can use on a tag. Like I said, you can use it in pockets or anything else. So, um, I don't know if maybe that had occurred to you before or not, but I hope that is, um, uh, maybe giving you ideas for how to use your stencils and how to use your distress ink for more than just aging, um, things in your art journals. I hope that that was, uh, something that gave you some good ideas. So let me know below in the comments if uh, if you've tried this before, if, if this is how you use up some of your scraps. And also let me know in the comments if you might be interested in taking that, um, that course uh, or maybe even just a video on color theory to kind of break it down so that you understand color theory a little bit more. Um, let me know what you think. And in the meantime, happy crafting.